All right, this is an Amazon dropshipping Excel system that I created for people who are dropshipping on Amazon. And this is a full system that will include products, orders, refunds, and profits sheets. And this video, I'm just going to give you a quick overview. However, you can download this video from a link in the description of this video. And I do have videos that follow that will explain each part of the system in more detail. But for a quick interview, or overview rather you have the products sheet and on the product sheet you will be able to enter all of your Amazon listing information such as ASIN SKU so on and so forth you also have your supplier information where you'll be able to enter the information on where you're actually gonna get the item from including cost information which will allow you to cost to calculate the cost and forecast the potential profit you can make on the item. So you'll calculate the cost, you'll also calculate the cash back, and from there you'll be able to, based on the price on Amazon, you will be able to calculate the profit that you will earn on this item, the potential profit. Finally, it will give you the profit summary breakdown, which is going to be the initial profit you will earn, as well as the total profit that you will earn after cash back. So once you download it and try it out, you'll be able to see exactly how that works. Also, again, watch my remaining videos. Um, now for the order sheet, the order sheet will allow you to record all the Amazon order information, as well as the corresponding supplier order information as well, including the cost of the order and the profits that you will earn on that order which again also includes the cash back and the total profit you will earn on each of those orders. I'm going to take a look at the refunds. On the refund sheet, you will be able to process returns and cancellations here. When I say process, meaning you'll be able to store that information and keep track of it. So for instance, if you're doing a return, you'll be able to store this return and cancellation info. The supplier side of that info will be the supplier info for that order will be pulled in. And you have the return shipment info as well as the refund from your supplier and the refund that you have to give to the buyer, which in combination will determine your profit loss. You can then include your cashback loss, which will in turn tell you your total profit loss on the order so this is um, the refund section again it can be used for returns or cancellations if you use it for a cancellation of course you're not going to uh, necessarily use the return tracking or record any return tracking but you can just at least record the supplier refund information and the buyer refund information so you can calculate the profit loss that is the most important part of the sheet you then also have the finally you have the profit sheet now the profits sheet is actually a profit summary a daily profit summary so you enter a date for instance May 3rd and all orders that were received on the date will be counted up and they will be summarized the total sales total fees the total payments the total cost of goods the initial profit, the margin and markup for that initial profit, the total cash back for that day, the total profit for that day, the profit loss for that day, the net profit for that day, and thus the net margin and markup for that day. Okay, so this is a way to actually analyze your perfor daily performance of your Amazon store or drop shipping store. So um, there's also a list. This has to do with the drop downs. Anytime you see a drop down in this system, the drop down options are coming from this list, from these lists. And you can actually change, rather, you can add to the list. You could also remove items if you wanted to, but uh, mostly I'm expecting you might want to add some things here. So, if you're, for example, your refund types. Um, in my demo video, I add the replacement 
refund type if that was something that you were going to add I don't actually do replacements um, myself when I drop ship on Amazon but if you do that's something you might want to add now um, so that is overall the system on um, the eBay the Amazon drop shipping Excel system however um, if you want to understand it in more detail and get a more slow deliberate explanation of each part of the system then you have to watch the videos that follow but to get your copy you need to click the link in the description of the video and subscribe because I need to keep you updated um, on changes sometimes changes need to be made I need to send updates uh, there can be changes on Amazon the Excel sheet the Excel system will not update itself I have to update it right um, so stay updated I've also got more um, content coming and more videos that might be um, of interest and useful and more tools as I said I've also have um, other um, calculators if you're interested in Amazon FBA I've got a calculator and spreadsheet for that as well things like that that I can inform you on that might be on another channel so um, do subscribe to stay informed and if you have any comments suggestions or questions please leave them below but mainly get your copy of this Excel system thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video